welcome back to Chin Strap Chats. Taylor's drinking a Pepsi Max. He's not. I lied. Oh fuck yeah. Do you like Pepsi Max, Taylor? Uh, I don't know what that is. It's Pepsi Max. Uh, it's the zero sugar, but um, not not the uh, diet. Oh. I like them. I like the zero sugar do. I actually like it quite a bit. So you might like Pepsi Pe Pepsi Max. I what I really gotta do is I really gotta get on just the zero sugar do <laughs> and not have the original. But mm. oh. I remember I my father. It seems Cairo has lost his way. My father was a huge Dew fan. Mm. He would drink Dew. And like we would have probably like two of those 24 or sorry 48 things in the house all the time. And that's what I drank because that's all we had other than milk and water. Mm -hmm. And as a child I didn't feel like just drinking water because I was a baby and I thought Ew, water's gross because it's just water it's plain. Though I love water now. Water never touched the stuff. Fish fucking it. <laughs> and then, uh, he's just like, Mountain Dew's too sweet. And he switched to cock. And that's all he's been drinking was cock. I mean, doesn't the throwback do like, have... Throwback do tastes different, doesn't it? Yes. Does it have less sugar or more sugar? I think overall less sugar. I was going to say, get that one then. Well, that was way before mm. Throwback Do. That was uh, that was like the time when uh, Throwback Do is trying to emulate. Yeah, well the Throwback Do would probably be the one you'd want to get now. Or yeah. the Zero Sugar. But yeah, and then he went to Cock. And then he went to uh, Diet Cock. Mm. And now... All he drinks is uh, fucking Red Bulls and Monsters. And I'm like, <laughs> that ain't good. That, that's like the opposite way, Dad. What are you doing? Tits! Oh, sorry. Is that you? <laughs> no. Look at his fucking eyebrows. They're so, like, oily and. <laughs> oily. Yeah, we gotta get one tit episode in here. <laughs> one tit episode. Well, every anime has got its tit episode. No, every anime has a hot spring or a, a, um, a beach. That's what I'm saying. Tit episode. That's what I'm saying. That's what I mean. <laughs> With titties well, out. We just so happen to have crash landed in a hot spring. Which is perfect. Titty time. Mm-hmm. Is that like a castle back there? Am I nude? <laughs> Did my pants fall off? That'd be pretty good if it did. <laughs> As, and it would appear that it did. I don't think he has any pants on. You lack training. Shut up. And Julia Stone. <laughs> where are my penis? I mean, where's my pants? Relax, son. Enjoy every moment. Dad? <laughs> I never knew my father. This is kind of weird. What? I beat beautiful women and then I fight them. I mean, you don't have this rock and hair and beard like I do. They both kind of look the same, don't they? Those two? Yeah. No. Um, I think it's younger than Asura. Yeah. They got like the tattoo esque. <clears throat> Sweat yeah, and, the, and the white hair. You know? Yeah. White eyes. White Iverson. <laughs> Why did you grunt at the tip moving? Oh, that should have been one I didn't press. Yeah. <laughs> Let your face go into the tits. Am I going to have to fight you? Ooh. So as long as you don't press X. Don't you splash. 
He dies. <laughs> he <laughs> dies, bro. Chug. 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 So no, drink or drink? Drink. We drink first. And then chug. Bitch, I don't need no fucking cup. It looks like a fucking cap for a laundry detergent. Yeah. Chug. <laughs> Ooh, big boy. What are you, a seal? Splasher. Yeah, fucking splasher. Just n never stop splashing. <laughs> Get super drunk, but not drunk enough that your gauge goes off, and then just keep splashing her. <laughs> Don't look at him. <laughs> what, 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 are you what the fuck is happening? It just, I didn't do that. It just no. zoomed in out of, out of nowhere, probably because he was drinking. Should I drink? What should I do? Just keep drinking. You gotta get your rage up. Oh, is that what happens? Is that the whole point of this? Probably not. Well, it gets it up faster. Chugging or just drinking? Uh, chugging definitely gets it up faster. Well, fucking, I want to get a big boner. <laughs> Give me the boner. God, you'd get so fucking sick drinking like that. I love your metal hand. More chug now. I'll s fucking beat the shit out. <laughs> Why are you touching my hand? This is gonna put me at a disadvantage in the fight. Oh well, no, I'll just take a sip. There we go. Now you stand up and you fight him. Is that what I do? <laughs> I have no fucking clue. I have no idea what I'm doing. Just gonna get your rage boner out. I the guess. Way. I guess. As it means I'm gonna bust my load in the water. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Burst. Oh, well, here we go. What are you doing, step bro? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I, I just mean, dreaming you can't, now? You can't fucking just go up and touch a lady. That's rude. Oh, yeah. Even if you're drunk. The world has become a boring place. Let's go to the moon and fight on it. I hope we don't put a sword through this place. <laughs> well, to be honest, that whole drinking part that we just saw was really dumb. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm guessing it was supposed to be, like, a titillation kind of thing. Yeah, but, but like, it was really dumb. Oh, wow, you broke a cup. Ooh, big strong man. <laughs> Calm down, Kyle. <laughs> All I've got is Mountain, fucking mountain Dew Monster and Drywall. Back in the day... Five hundred and like twenty. Fuck you, that's the thing. He's <laughs> over tit for the fucking thing. <laughs> and then his ass. You think he gets pegged? Probably. He probably enjoys it. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Yes, that cock in my ass is great. Oh, more training. <sighs> Shit. Ah. They gotta have fighting somewhere in the. In the episode, so they gotta do a fucking flashback thing. You can tell it's a flashback because I've got pupils again. Yeah. <laughs> You're not you know, just zoomed by rage. Yeah. You know what game we should play? What? We should play uh, Eternal Darkness from the uh, game GameCube. Find me a copy. Because that game is not easy to come by. Yeah, I don't think it is at all. It's. I'm sure if you look online, it's very expensive. I, I think Jake might have a copy, but I don't think he'd let me... I, I'm sure he wouldn't let us borrow it. What the fuck? Billy, we got a rhino. Oh, shit. Look at that badass rhino. We got a rhino. Yeah, Eternal Darkness. That would be a cool game. I've never played that game, but I know it's, it's supposed to be like a... Psychological fucker fuckery type game where it messes with you. Two hundred fifty dollars. Wait, on, on Amazon, on eBay. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's a, that's a hard game to come by, that one. Uh, on Lukey Games, it's 93.97. That's better. It's still not great, though. And then price charting is 49.02. Oh, really? Yeah. That ain't bad. I would do that one. <laughs> we don't have a means of really recording it well, though. I don't have I don't have a capture card that can capture in standard def. Yeah, you can uh, you can buy the Japan version for sixty five bucks, oh. or you can buy the case only the case for seven dollars. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's I don't know there's I'm sure there's a workaround that we could like I, I swear to like I had it worked out one time where we were capturing standard def games and it wasn't like bad. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, I just have a hard time like trying to get it to work because I I bought that like uh, splitter thing, which because because realistically, you just need to be able to get a standard def signal back into the TV. Yeah. Because um, what was I think what was happening is like we because we have like an HD capture card, but then like we have to convert that to to standard def, and. I think I we used it, but like it would make the picture on the on the TV like so dark that you couldn't see what was going on. Yeah, and I think it depends on the game too. Like if you're playing like a dark game, like it's going to be even darker. But like it always came out dark. So I I remember like a while ago I had tried to getting it to work, and I just I don't know if I ever did, but I'd have to I'd have to sit with it and see if I could get it to to work again. That's right. where I had a setup that did work, but there is one left in stock. On Amazon, one hundred and ninety-six dollars. Yeah. Yep. It's a cool game, but oh, another turtle! Sweet. Are we gonna step it up? And there's gonna be two turtles, or just one again? No, nope, just one. Okay. You know the thing is, I actually own that game. Do you really? Yes, I do. I don't know where it is, but I own it. If you find it, bring it over. It's probably with my sister. Ask her if they can find it. Uh, if, if you got it, bring it over. We'll play it. Either my sister, myself, or my brother has it in one of our boxes. Wait, did you already beat the rhino? Yeah, there was a bunch. They were like smaller enemies. Oh, okay. Now we got another big ass turtle. Yeah, big old turt. So turt. Turt Snanko. Well, yeah, pretty soon we'll, we're we're gonna get into some other games anyway. We we bought a couple that we'll play, and I think we're gonna be on the lookout for some other games similar to this where we have never really played them before. So that way we can kind of just experience them together. Yeah. How to get that Xeno Clash game? That'd be kind of an interesting one. Oh yeah, but I remember in that game, the uh, what you call it? Uh, you you at the start of the game you decide, uh, do you want to boost to your sanity? Do you want to boost to your health, or do you want to boost to your magic? And that's actually choosing the difficulty of the fucking game. Oh yeah, because if you do health, I believe that's like normal. If you do, I can't remember if it's sanity or magic, you actually just chose the hardest part of the game. Because it will change. I think it's if you choose the green sanity, it's the hardest. That's what I would think. Because you get more things that are more sanity draining, and you also uh, don't have the health to, you know, stay alive. Right. Uh, 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 staying alive. I think, um... Yeah, that's that's really the only thing I know about that game is that I know it's supposed to like mess with you, like like kind of break the fourth wall type stuff. Where yeah. it, like, will pretend Just that like Konami ass. Yeah, it'll pretend like your controller is unplugged or that like the the station on the TV changed and stuff. You yeah. Know? Which I can see how that would have been more effective back when it came out because nowadays it's like TVs are, like don't operate the same way as like old like CRTs did. Yeah. Um. But you know. Still a cool idea. I really wish that there would be a game that did that a little bit more now. Like a modern day kind of take on Yeah, it kind of darkness. fucks with everything. Because you could fuck with it even more. Oh, yeah. Like, you could say, like, you know, 
to have online stuff pop up or trophies or something, you know, or whatever. Pretend to take you back out into the PlayStation menu. <laughs> you do a whole bunch of quirky, weird stuff with it if you wanted to. Especially, like, with the PlayStation 4, like, like probably, obviously not PlayStation 5, but if they had, like, the speaker on it, on the controller, if you had the speaker turned on, they could fuck with you that way. <laughs> yeah. There's so many didn't, things they could do. Didn't PT do something like that for a little bit? Um, I don't know, maybe. It might have. Their whole thing was that if you plugged in the microphone and the controller, like, and you said a certain word, it would trigger the ending or something. But I think that was disproven after after the fact, but I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. That's a big-ass fish. You never told me how to stop my fist. Is also a thing that you say to your female. Now then. Let's this. Okay. Just, just, what a stupid <laughs> episode that was. <laughs> just hit their penises against each other. What a dumb episode that one was. What, what a waste. I mean, okay, you get the, the boobies, you get the boobles, you get the hot spring part, but then it's like they had to shoehorn in fighting somehow, so it was just a flashback. Like, cool. Well, it's trying to, you know, get you to be like, this guy ain't so bad, Angus Young. We're friends, kinda. Is that guy blushing in the back? <laughs> it kinda looks like it. They say Lord Angus has gone off to find the Fallen One. Was he not? Do you think Lord Angus Young sympathizes with the Fallen One? Sympathize? That's ridiculous. Lord Angus is the one merciful of the Seven. I believe he's finished, traitor. Lord August Angus, go. Can she spring? Always goes bathe battle. Against surely. Fallen Doom Time. Oh my fucking eyeball. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what it said. <laughs> you have obviously never seen Lord Angus's dick. <laughs> it's, it's mighty and strong. As big as a thousand pieces. No one can defeat Lord Angus Young. Now enough of your babble. Yes, sir. A B C. Here we go. This is the. This is the. This is it right here. Oh my God! Here we go, dude. That's it. Why are you spoiling it? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what the fuck is happening? How can she even see that? Like there. Yeah, she just be like hundreds of miles away. <laughs> like, like what is happening? <laughs> She's just like fucking. DBZ esque, <laughs> like, why are all you guys even standing there? They're all going at like light speed. We can see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I remember they brought that up in an episode once. Yeah. Because, like, they disappeared and then they're like, what can you, how can you see what's happening? And it's just like, oh, you have to sense it. <laughs> Next time at Chinstrap Chaps, we fight on the moon. <laughs> <laughs>